Hey everyone, Shy Games here with another game. It's is called The Walk. It's a psychoanalysis game. Now, before I start the uh, game, just wanted to let you know that it's free. I'll find the link again. It took me forever to get this game to run because my my computer is a dick. <laughs> and it's also three o'clock. No, two thirty in the morning. So, Sarah's happy, 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 slap happy. Yes. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm just going to skip the introduction. Sure. Um, yeah, we'll go Shy Games. Hello, Shy Games. Nice to meet you. Are you male or female? I'm definitely female. Well, Shy Games, let's take a walk through your imagination. Do you prefer to walk during the daytime or the nighttime? Well, I'm more of a night owl, so we're going with nighttime. Okay, let's take a walk at night, Shy Games. By the way, Shy Games, in what season of the year are you taking your walk? I love the autumn, so we're going to go with autumn. Ah, uh, autumn is a lovely time of year. And what's the weather like? Clear with lots of stars, rainy, overcast skies, or foggy? Hmm. Well, where I'm from, it's either clear or overcast, so we're gonna go with overcast. I see. So you're out walking at night in overcast autumn weather. I hope you're dressed for it, Shy Games. Ooh. Okay, so I'm wearing a gray hoodie. Blacks, not slacks, black pants, shoes. Yeah, let's go with that. And where are you walking today? In the city, in the park, in the mountains, along a beach, through the woods, or in the rural countryside? Um, I really do love the woods. I love parks. I don't like city life. I've never been to the mountains. I love the beach and I love the countryside. We're gonna go with the woods. I see, so you're taking a walk in the woods at night. How about describing what it looks like, Shy Games? Well, it looks like this. Lots of trees, many leaves falling. Um, Rough terrain. Excuse my spelling. If I misspelled anything, I'm very sorry. I'm terrible at spelling things. And wild animals. By the way, what sort of path are you walking on, Shy Games? Is it clearly visible? Um, most of the woods where, around where I'm at right now, they really aren't, but some of the woods back at where I'm from are, uh, no, I'm having a hard time seeing, is the path you're on wide or narrow? There's really no path. Especially when we walk around the lake. Uh, we'll say wide. Is it well traveled? Packer looks well maintained and often traveled. It looks totally abandoned. It doesn't look like anyone gets, goes this way all that much. This one. Is the way clear or are there obstacles in your way? It's clear with nothing in my way. I have to step over all kinds of trash in the fuse. 
there are big rocks and other big things I have to get around. It's this one. Are there any other paths? I can see one or two others. I don't see any. I can see many others going in different directions. This one. Can you describe it for me? The way I'm going is rocky. This is the path that I usually take around here around campus. There is a path through the woods on campus. And you're not knowing what campus I'm talking about unless you can see my shirt. Which I hope you can't. Because that'd be a big problem. Anyways, Rocky. Um, Rolling Hills. Many leaves. Not much grass. water on one side, many different paths, but only one true path. Do you see any people around? Do I see? It just depends. I want to say no. You've walked quite a bit, Shy Games, and come to a and you come to a clearing in the trees. No one is there but you. It looks like, or what does the clearing look like? It looks like this. It is open. Moonlight is coming through. It is green, but there is a SWM, UM, swamp, swamp air, oh my gosh, I can't spell area. Oh right, there's a ground, oh right there, on the ground, is a box. What is it made of? Silver and gold, brass and copper, light wood such as a jewelry box or a pack glass, cardboard or paper, transparent glass, plastic, heavy wood like a trunk or chest, or iron and steel. Hmm. Cardboard or paper. What does this box look like and how big is it? The box looks... The box is... Box size? It is kind of medium-ish. You can fit a litter of puppies in it, I guess. G-U-E-S-S. -S. Oh no! Oh no! I G-U-E-S-S. -S. There you go. How very interesting, Shy Games. Can you open the box? Yes. What does the box have inside of it? The box has... What does the box have? The box has... A litter of puppies in it. How adorable. Well, that's cool. What are you going to do with it now that you find it, Shy Games? Take it with me! It's puppies! Everyone loves puppies! Would you be willing to show it to someone? Yeah! Who would I show it to? Jenny? <laughs> my parents? And all of... Yeah, I'll just do that. Jenny and my parents. Well now, shall we continue our walk, Shy Games? Let's continue. Continuing beyond the clearing in the trees, the ground abruptly slopes downward, putting you on top of a hill. In the distance, you can see a big building. What does this bu building look like? 
When I think of the big of a big building, I think of one of the dorms here because it's one of the tallest buildings here, 16 floors. So it looks like a very tall gray building, about 16 floors, maybe a dorm. When you reach the bottom of the slope, you find that you are a four-way crossroads. Which way will you go? Which way will you choose to go, Shy Games? I can either go forward, left, right, or back. Um, let's go left. Oh look, right there in the middle of the path is an animal. Is it a natural animal? Is it a toy animal? Or is it a fantasy creature? So it's natural. Is it wild or domestic? I think it's wild. What kind of animal is it and what does it look like? Okay, so my favorite animal is an owl. It is big, gray, it is known as a bared. Oh gosh, owl. What is the wild animal doing? It doesn't notice me. It has seen me, but is ignoring me. It's staring at me and seems annoyed. It's being friendly, it's afraid of me, or it's attacking. I want to say it's ignoring me, because that's what they usually do. How do we get past it? I'll ignore it and keep walking. Or, I want it to come with me. I'll ignore it and keep walking. I'll walk carefully around it. I'll fight it off or kill it. I will not, never kill a poor owl. I'll give it, I'll give it a pet and walk away. I'll hide and seek quietly around it, or sneak quietly around it. I'll run like hell. I'll keep walking. Let's continue onward, shall we? After quite a bit of a walk, you see a hill on the very top of a house. You see a hill and on the very top is a house. What kind of house is it? A quaint cottage, an ultra modern house, a condominium complex, an underground dwelling, a fantasy land dwelling, an ordinary house, an apartment building, a historical mansion, a place or, or a palace or a castle, an historical native dwelling. I want to say it's a quaint cottage. Can you describe it? The house is small. Maybe only a single floor. It looks to be made out of logs or wood. It is very, oh, oh, very adorable. Is there a fence or a wall around it? How far does it extend? There's, there is a fence that just goes around, I'm sorry, I got itchy. A fence that just goes around the cottage. Do you want to take a look inside Shy Games? Mm, sorry I'm itchy guys. I, uh, yes. How do we get inside? I'll go through the front door. I'll go in through a window. I'll climb the roof and enter by that way. I'll take the secret door access. I'll go through the back door. I'll climb up to the balcony doors. I'll go from the basement. I'll go straight through the front door. What does the interior look like? Small, but not too small. The walls are made of wood. There seems to be some deer heads. Heads. 
on the wall. I'm imagining this cottage I've been to before, back at home where the uh, woods are. Um, yeah. Is there a particular room you like to see? Living room or parlor, bedroom, attic, office or library, den. Dining room, kitchen, basement, bathroom. I don't want to look in the rooms, I just want to leave. Uh, let's go with the office or library. There, what does the room look like? Books. Books everywhere. Okay, that's enough ex exploration for the moment. Shy games, especially since we have other things to see. In the kitchen, you'll find the back door to take you outside. After you exit, does the back door lock behind you? Yes. Let's continue on our way, shall we? After a bit more walking, you see, or you see something else in the middle of the path. A cup. What is it made out of? Silver or gold, brass or copper, polished wood, um, matic, paper or styrofoam, iron or steel, battered wood, plastic or transparent glass. Transparent glass. What kind of cup is it? And what does it look like? The cup was small. It whoa. It looked like it was an old china. No. Old fancy cup. It is Kind of D-I-R-T-Y. It needs to be cleaned a bit. What will you do with it, Shy Games? Kick it out of the way, ignore it, or take it with you. Take it with me. Sounds good. You continue on a bit further and spot something else in the middle of your path. It's a weapon. What kind of weapon is it? Sword or other long knife. Club weapons such as a club, bat, or... Let's say... Nun... Nunchuck? Okay. Spear weapons such as a spear... I can't read the rest. I'm so... <laughs> I can't read anything anymore. A sniper rifle. A uh, semi-automatic rifle or machine gun, rocket or missile launcher, stun gun or other stunning devices, small knife such as a switchblade or dagger, hand weapons such as a sap, brass knuckles, or claws, handgun, bow such as a hunting bow, long bow, or crossbow, flamethrower, hand grenade, or other thrown bomb, stapler, or something not normally considered a weapon. I would say a small knife. What does this look like? What does it look like? What is it made out of? The weapon was small. It was a it's pocket knife. Small enough to fit in my whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. my pocket. Easy enough. To use. What will you do with it, Shy Games? Take it with me, kick it out of the way, or ignore it. I'll take it with me. That works. Okay, after a bit more walking down the path. Oh my, there's a body of water sitting right next to your path. What kind is it? A puddle, a river, a broad lake, a creek or brook, a pond, an ocean. Where I'm from, there is a big river. And there's also a lot of creeks. I like rivers a lot. How deep is it? I want to say it's knee deep. How fast is the water moving? Is it perfectly still? It's flowing strongly but steadily past me. It's slow and gently flowing past me. It's flowing swiftly enough to have rapids 
There are strong rolling waves casting, crashing with lots of spray. It's slow and gentle. The water was slow, warm, and steady. Water is not clear. Oh, clear. In fact, it was F I L T H Y. It was, I can't spell, dirty. It is full of trash and needs to be named ASAP. How you cross the river that is knee deep. Step over it, walk across the surface, find a boat and row myself. Wait across it, swim across, find someone with a boat and hitch a ride. I'm gonna wade across. Well, now that you've crossed the river and rejoined your path, Shy Games, let's continue on. After a bit more walking, you see something else in the middle of your path. It's a key. What does the key look like? The key was small. It was brown, brown rust. It can fit in my pocket along with all of the other things I have picked up from, from, from this trip. How does this, what does the key unlock? The door to the to a palace, castle, fortress, or mansion. Something unusual, or not normally open with a key. A safe or treasure box. It's a piece of junk that doesn't open anything. I have no idea what it opens, but it definitely opens something. More than just doors, a hidden door, a diary or a locket. It's magical or otherworldly, worldly, such as one that opens the door to a fantasy world. I don't know where it opens to. I don't know why there's a key in the middle of the woods. What will we do with the key, Shy Games? Kick it out of the way. Alright then, let's continue onward to the final bit of our walk. After a rather long and tiring stretch of walking, you see something else crossing your path. It's a wall that stretches from horizon to horizon. What was the wall? What does it look like? The wall was... gray. And blue. It it is taller than I am. I cannot see anything past it. Can you see? <laughs> no, I can't. Can you cross the wall? Yes, but I don't want to. Well done, you've completed the journey. Now will be an exit time to save. Now that now then, are you ready to see what all this is supposed to mean? Yes, I am. The name and gender of yours of sorry. The name and gender you chose significant significant tells you how truthful you are when you were in answering the questions on this test. You chose shy games and female. The choice of day and, or night um, s tells you if you're introverted or extroverted personality. You chose at night. Night time says that you are introverted by nature and prefer privacy. You enjoy your own company and enjoy quite solitary or quite solitary pastimes, which is true. I'm very introverted, but can be extroverted as well. Does that mean that you don't like the company of other people? You're merely extremely selective in your choice of companions, which is very true. <laughs> the season you chose represents your level of maturity. You chose autumn. Autumn's significant. Yeah. Autumn says, and or autumn tells you that you're an adult and determined outlook that looks forward to prosperity after hard work, perhaps to the point that they're focused on doing a good job becomes all-consuming, which is true. The weather you select selected 
represents your emotional state. You chose overcast. Overcast skies indicate a mild bout of depression. Um, depending on what you guys, what it means by depression, this past week I was just nothing but a depressed mess because of this paper and test the lore. I, I did get a little depressed. I will say that. I will admit that. How you chose to dress signif signifies. <laughs> how you chose to dress tells you how you want others to see you. I mean, this is how I dress every day. The location you selected to take a stroll through, through tells the part of your core personality that you like the best. Also, how far away this location is from where you actually live indicates how strongly you want to change your current life. You chose the woods. Choosing to walk through the woods indicates you prefer your own company, but are fully capable of dis uh, disguising this from those who are forced to socialize with. The type of path or road you walked was not easy to see and wide. It looked like it wasn't used very often with rocks and other big stuff around it. This signifies how difficult you feel with your life is, current, is currently. The more rocks, weeds, and garbage you have to get around, the more you feel that things are getting in the way of reaching your goals. You saw no one else around. This tells you how comfortable you are around people you don't know. Your description of the clearing and the trees indicates how you feel about being alone. The box says, or tells you about your attitude towards certain secrets and memories. What the box is made of indicates how precious your secrets are and memories are to you, and how well you protect them. Your box is made of cardboard or paper. This indicates that the memory or secret within is not important and likely to fall apart upon exposure. You are able to open the box. That you could open the box means that you remain in touch with feeling your oldest memories and deeper secrets. What the box contains indicates the type of memories and secrets you feel you need to protect from casual exposure. What you did with the box indicates how willingly you are to leave your memories and secrets behind or secrets exposed where others can find them. You took it with you. This says that you are not willing to let anyone know this particular secret, but you don't want to leave it behind and forget it either. Your willingness to show the c contents to someone indicates that they are someone you trust deeply. Just make sure they deserve that level of trust. I do have trust issues. The big building in the distance stands for the size and strength of your ambitions toward, the, toward what you seek to gain in the future. At the crossroads, you, cho you chose to go left. This indicates that you're bored with your current life and want to make some major changes, even if the changes might prove destructive. I'm not bored with my life. Okay. The animal is symbolic of the compulsive and instinctive side of your nature, the part that doesn't respond to reason. It can also indicate a current problem in your life. You saw a wild animal on your path. Seeing a wild animal um, tells you that you are strongly independent and enjoy working alone. However, you do not easily forgive those who hurt you or those you care for, which is true. That the wild animal deliberately ignored your... Uh, I can't talk. <laughs> that the wild am animal just ignored you. That your current concern may in fact may be something you caused yourself. That you ignored it and kept walking tells you that you prefer to rely on logic and reasoning rather than your instincts. That is also true. Because there are far too many animals to list, if you are interested in the meaning and significance behind your specific animal, go here. They have a nice, long, detailed list of animals and their spiritual meanings. I chose the owl when I already know that the owl stands for knowledge and it is 
introverted like I am, which is one of one of the many reasons why I actually like the owl, because it's a beautiful creature. Okay. The house you saw represents your emotional and physical state. You chose the plant co cottage. The type of fence or wall around it indicates how willingly you are open to yourself around others. That you decided to go inside it indicates your willingness to examine your own motives and personal issues. How you enter the house reflects how you chose or how you choose to face the truth of who you are and the decisions you made. You've entered through the front door. Entering directly through the, through the front door means you have no problems facing yourself. How the interior is decorated and arranged indicates your current mindset. Each room stands for different emotional functions. The room you chose is the one you prioritize the most. You went to the office or library. The office or library holds information and skills acquired through education and reading. This is the most logical part of the mind. When you left, the door locked behind you. This indicates you would rather not go back to know what's going on inside your subconscious mind. The cup is a representative, representative of love and how you express it. The cup you found was made out of transparent glass. This indicates that love should be treated with great care because your heart is fragile and easily shattered. It's true. You took it with you. This indicates that you are pleased with the type of relationships that come with this form of love. Mm, I can beg to differ. The weapon, the weapon is a representative of anger and how you express it. The weapon you found was a small knife. This indicates that you that your temper is short, and that you express your anger with multiple quick attacks to the mind or the heart. I am very short tempered. You took it with you. This indicates that you are pleased with your temperament and style of aggression, which is true. Water represents your subconscious emotions and desires. The deeper and faster the water, the stronger, more chaotic and uncontrollable those emotions are. Classically, this also indicates the kind of sexual relations you prefer. You saw a river that was knee deep, that flowed by slowly and gently. The river indicates that your range of emotions is fairly broad, depending on the size of the river, and more than a little under understanding. But the river was knee deep indicates that your emotions run somewhat close to the surface and they can be seen if one looks closely. It's true. The river flowed by slowly and gently. This indicates that your passions seem mild, but that's only on the surface. How you cross the water indicates your level of emotional connection and how you tend to break off emotional connections. Crossing the water by wading across it in indicates that you have no trouble connecting with your emotions, but you don't allow yourself to become overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, the key representative, or, or the key represents personal knowledge. What the key is made out of indicates how important this is to you. What it unlocks indicates your talent or area of ex expertise. Your key opens something unknown. This indicates that you know you have a talent, you just haven't figured out what it is yet. Yes and no. You kicked it away from you. This indicates that you don't like this talent, or possibly wish you had a different talent. I don't know what talent I have, so how can I... Okay. The wall represent, represents how you view death. Unfortunately, you couldn't see what was on the other side. Your lack of interest in crossing the wall indicates that you have no interest in dying anytime soon. Good for you! And we're done. If you haven't saved yet now, now would be an excellent time to do so. Well then, hope you enjoyed my little test. I enjoyed making it. And so that was The Walk. It's a psychoanalysis game. It... It's... How can I say it? I don't know. I liked it. It kind of made me think of myself as a better person, but at the same time, there's a little bit of things in there that I could just say the most random shit. And oh, this music is so beautiful. But I don't know. 
I liked it. I hope you guys liked it. So, we're just gonna, I'm gonna just listen to this music. This music's nice. I like it a lot. So yeah, that was the walk. I'll leave a description in, or I need to stop saying that. I'll leave a link in the description below. So yeah. Hmm. Alrighty. So this is Shy Games saying stay warm, be happy, and don't be shy. Bye.